Okie doke, it is May Day, and I don't know when I started this whole thing, but uh, the fish are doing well. I've been cleaning the, the beds out today, so there's a bunch of junk floating on the top because I've been dipping plants in there. But I added a third grow bed, but first off, I harvested a bunch of lettuce yesterday, and uh, so that lettuce in there is only two. I brought in a bunch. Uh, strawberries, even though it's probably late in the season for strawberries, they are putting fruit on. You can see one way down in there, inside there. And uh, all of them have fruit on now. Oh, I gotta show you the, the big the big deal. So this is the this is the tomato plants and you see the orange string right in there. That's where it was yesterday. So it's grown about three or four inches in a day. And I gotta show you the overall structure. It kinda got crazy. I've gone totally redneck. I'm from Iowa, spent some time in the south, and so I have the right to be redneck. I think I've earned it. And uh, so I had to build this frame in order to hold the strings that I won't let those tomatoes grow up. And yes, I'll be harvesting them off of a ladder. This is my third, or my second rock bed. I actually got the um, hydrated clay, and that is some really great stuff. The comparison, this took two bags of clay to do this bed, which ran about 30 bucks a bag, so it was 60 bucks. These other beds, I used pea gravel, which was about six bucks a bag. It took four bags, so it took uh, about 24 bucks to fill that. And um, you can see how the sides on that aren't bowing out. It's just easier to work with. I think it's worth the money. Look at how this is bowing out. It's, I would never be able to lift this thing, whereas on this one, no problem. Two guys, grab this, haul it inside if need be, whatever I need to do. I can move it around real easy. Uh, this is a piece, this is an iceberg lettuce I just transferred from the other bed. It was getting crowded. It kind of looks like the green flame. And that'll be interesting to see what happens with that. And then the, uh, the float bed is doing well. So just took that out and cleaned it. And uh, I think I have another video of a friend of mine uh, helped me load that back in. And then this guy is going with the peppers. Peppers are slow growers, but they're coming. And the watermelon is just not really doing much. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm gonna just let it go. Who knows? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, no problem. I keep working on this swirl filter. I think this is working. Uh, it's not fantastic. I need to change a few things around, but uh, it's a start, and that's all flowing back into my sump. And uh, that's about it. So that is the hydroponic hot tub for May 1st.